video game ideas and I use video, GBGINU for short. As always, I'm Andre and it is a pleasure to share my thoughts with you today. So this is a subject that has been on my mind for a little bit. I mean, I've also asked a few other people to that are YouTube users to see, just like to get their opinions on this my, uh, along with my own. Um, <clears throat> But yeah, you read the title, so you pretty much know what the subject matter is, and I'm not going to really beat around the bush. Um, yeah, it's kind of stupid and moronic to kind of try to force your ideas of what you like onto someone else, and it, it happens a lot. Like it, it really does. No matter what community you feel that you are a part of, this shit happens on a daily basis. And people tend to just roll with it like whatever. I'm like, and I'm just getting tired of seeing people back and forth on this. And it's just like fucking annoying as hell. Now, don't get me wrong. I like when people, you know, just say, hey, look, um, what's this game like? Uh, What's, can you suggest to me any really fun to play games? Then yeah, you can tell people. Well, you know, I enjoy these. So, like, and then tell them why. Or if you know the person well enough to know what they're into, you would be like, well, since I know you I know you don't like this particular style or or such and such. But I suggest you get this because this might fit more with what you with how you like to play. It's just I don't get why people can't do that type of thing. I don't know. I got into a brief exchange with somebody maybe a few days ago on YouTube because of some bullshit ass fucking statement that they made. <laughs> like, uh, what was it? Anybody over the age, 18 or over, shouldn't buy the Wii because of. What was it he said? It was a he or she. I don't really know, but I'm assuming it's a guy because of the the way the wording was but uh no one over the age of 18 should be playing a mario game or for fucking what it's a video game you play video games to have fun you play games to enjoy them why in the fuck does it matter what game you're playing if you enjoy it like i always thought that was a shitty ass fucking way to think of shit anyway like, so, because my game isn't the ultra-realistic, hyper-fucking-performance game that you want it to be, it's a dumbass game for me to like it? That's stupid as shit. Like, that is the dumbest fucking thing I could, I could ever fucking think to hear from anyone. Well, like, you're gonna say, um... I think my response to him was kind of worded, well, so, you're telling people it's stupid to like what they like for themselves... So basically, the way you think, I don't know if I, how I said it, like, but <clears throat> if, if the gaming industry was completely run by people like you, there wouldn't be any interesting games, which is true. I mean, look at the way the market is going now with everything, everybody trying to make the hyper ultra, well, not everybody, but most big name publishers trying to make hyper ultra realistic looking games like that's good i have no problem with that i'm i'm not against that but i'm tired of people saying oh i'm a serious gamer or i'm a hardcore gamer but like dude seriously when you say that shit you sound like a fucking drone you sound like a programmed robot that just is full of bullshit ass messages that you're trying to give the people and it's irritating as fuck to keep hearing people go on like that. Play a game because you like it. Not because of what critics say. Not because of what I, even I might say. Play a game because you like it. If you enjoy it, then that's the purpose that the game is serving. It is for your enjoyment. It is not for someone else. You know, it's just like, that's an ignorant ass fucking comment to me. No one 18 and above should purchase a Wii U. Like, you do realize that there are mature-rated games on that platform, just like there are E-rated games on every other platform. So you would tell somebody not to pick up a 360 because they have it has Viva Pinata on it? 
Think about that. Think about the logic. That's just fucking stupid. Or you might have, well, you would have told somebody not to pick up a PS2 because of Katamari Dynasty. That's fucking ridiculous. That's, and that's, just, I mean, that's just a couple examples. And I said PS2 intentionally, like I said, because that was where that game kind of started. But still, that's it's just stupid as fuck. And but like a half of these people that say this shit watch anime and read mangas. So you mean to tell me that you can be happy to read read or watch a fantasy world environment but you're not willing to play one? Sorry, that brief interruption. But uh yeah. It's kind of it's redundant to want to force your beliefs on anyone. <laughs> I mean, anything in general, I kind of feel is is redundant to force your what you believe upon or anybody else, especially with preferences. But with gaming, like this is like everyday talk in the gaming community, and I don't understand why people can't under, can't figure out that gaming is for fun. I don't give a shit if people fucking play games on Facebook. You want to know why? Truth be told, I play a few of them. I don't sit on them all day, every day, but yeah, I do play a few of them. But like, so what? Does that not make me a real gamer? I mean, I play my 360. I play every damn other console that I have, so that makes me not a real gamer, even though I spend my time and invest my money in it. What? And that's why I've always thought, like, just like you'll see comments, real gamers don't game on, on PS2. Or, well, not PS2. Real gamers don't game on PS3. Or, real gamers don't game on PS3. Ah, gosh. I'm just, I'm tired. Sorry for that. I was trying to say 360, and I said PS3 again. But, or real, real gamers don't game on Nintendo consoles. Like, a real gamer, like I'm saying, plays games for the enjoyment of the game. They play it for the experience in the game. They don't play it because other people like it and because it's the popular fucking thing to do. They play it for their sole enjoyment. And to hopefully be able to share that enjoyment with other people. That's pretty much it. That's all gaming ever should have been about. It shouldn't be, oh, because this game looks so fake, I don't have to like, I shouldn't like it. I, I shouldn't like this game because it's, fantasy oriented and it has bright colors and and the gameplay might be solid but the, the characters are used a lot you know what a lot of shit is used a lot it might be irritating to see the same faces kind of often I can agree with that but at the same time if the gameplay is solid and you actually find enjoyment in the game, it shouldn't matter so much. This uh it's just irritating as fuck. Like every but every company that gets a good franchise or a popular franchise or makes one, yes, they're going to milk the fuck out of it. One way or the other. Whether it is through p games that are parodies, party games, or even yearly and consistent releases it's going to happen some of those games are going to suck horribly or they're just going to become bland because the, the, the gameplay stays exactly the same others they're going to change it somewhat it's just dependent upon the company and what they do with the game or franchise I mean it's their choice but just hearing this oh Oh, yeah, that console sucks because this game isn't on it. Really? Do you have no better reason? Like, if you can't come up with a better reason than that, then you're stupid. Just like this whole Wii U is underpowered bullshit. It's not underpowered. It's just not as powerful as the other two. And... A lot of people have said this is because of the fact that Microsoft and Sony have made their devices pretty much the same. I mean, the architecture isn't exactly that different. It makes it easier for developers to port back and forth, but at the same time, it also 
gives them a reason to slack off. If something is fucked up in a the game, they can just leave it and paste it and nobody would even fucking give a shit. It's copy and paste, basically. And a lot of people aren't understanding that the Wii U is very capable of a lot of things. Yes, I do agree that maybe Nintendo should have put more power in it. But at the same time, that's their choice. It was their console. I'm not going to fault them for that. It's their console. Like, I just, I get tired of hearing that, that bullshit-ass excuse from developers and people who are just, like, pretty much bought off by specific video game... I'm going to say magazines, pretty much. It's just like, why the fuck would you not go back and like look at the facts for yourself? You're just going to say, oh, this it can't do this, it can't do that, it can't do... I'm sorry. Um, but the, the... Get, off, get off the stupidity train. Please use your brain. Think before you fucking talk, really. And I know I should probably do that myself some, because I, I go off on random ass tangents and rants and shit, but my point solely basically with this is stop trying to tell other people how they should enjoy shit. <laughs> Gaming is optional. It's not something we have to do. It's optional. And as much as life would suck without gaming, <laughs> it just I, I'm sorry, but I can't stand... To look at where video games now are constantly being judged based on the standards of another game. You base, <clears throat> if you're going to judge a game, you judge it upon itself. And if it is a part of a series, you judge it as a part of that series. You don't judge it based off of what the other game is doing. Like... Yeah, you can compare them and look at them all you want, but they're still not the same game. They're not the same franchise. And it's just like somebody saying, uh, just like back in the day when, when Sony came up with Killzone to be the Halo killer, and it turned out not to be that. I don't know why they even made that statement, but hey, that was what they chose to do. It was stupid of them because of the fact that the games are really vastly different from each other like in such a way that it wasn't even worth them making the comparison but <clears throat> I don't even know if you could really call that a comparison that's more or less they were just saying that their product was better and it didn't really outsell it at that time I don't know about how it's going to do now but that's just that's all depending on what they do with it but oh man I'm just I guess I'm just tired of it. It's just it's annoying. It's nonsensical. And I'm just I think I, I mispronounced that too, but I'm gonna say it again. Enjoy games for the fun of them. Don't sit and worry about playing a game just because other people like it. If other people like it and you know that you like the same type of games that those people like, yes, by all means, go ahead and try it out. And if you do enjoy it, good. If you just happen not to, don't try to sit there and be a fanboy about it. It's fucking stupid. Like, well, my friends like this game, so I guess I'm, I like it too. No. Be your own fucking person. Make your own fucking choices. I just, I, I'm sorry, I'm just tired of drones. Whether you be a Nintendo drone, a Sony drone, or a Microsoft drone. I'm tired of all of them. Fuck, there's even new year drones out there, bitch. And, and believe me, there are. I've seen them. And they are some wild motherfuckers. But they, <laughs> they are drones nonetheless. But, uh... I'll always say I'm an all-around gamer. I enjoy gaming for the pure fact that gaming is meant to be fun. It's meant to be an experience outside of yourself, outside of real life. And I don't see why people can't just grasp that and just enjoy gaming. There's just no point in worrying about everything else that's going on around you. 
with gaming. If you don't like a particular platform, don't get it. But don't try to force other people to share your viewpoint by insulting their intelligence and calling them names because they don't share your viewpoint. <laughs> That's just vastly stupid. And I, I think I'm pretty much going to end it there. I've got a lot of stuff to do this morning, so. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Um, I hope that something that I've said made some sense because I know I rambled a bit. But I, I tend to do that, you know that. And if you're watching my videos, you've gotten used to it. So, um, yeah, keep your eyes out for more of my stuff. And until the next time, enjoy your games.